said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, your host for Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. Welcome to episode 10. We have hit double digits, and on this momentous occasion, we bring you zombies. Once again, we're coming to you from Mount Washington, this time Grandview Park. Summer is winding down here in Pittsburgh. People are out enjoying the nice weather before fall hits. Football season is just around the corner, so we figured we'd get one last hurrah outside. We recently sat down with the creators of Zombie Opera, a project of New Sun Rising. We will also head out to Studio 420 at the Father Ryan Arts Center for a look at the New Works Festival. Now, here's what's happening with our area nonprofits. Currently in Allegheny County, 156,608 people live on food stamps every day. The CHS Food Challenge was designed to help raise awareness of what it feels like for people living on limited incomes. For a one week period, you can experience this issue in the hopes that you will educate others about the challenges of food insecurity and hunger. Take the challenge by choosing to commit to living on $45.50 for one week, just as people living on food stamps do. During that time, CHS asks that you write about your experience on the Food Challenge blog and recruit others to participate with you. The blog provides you with the tools that you will need to advocate for the eradication of hunger locally and nationally. If you are interested in participating, sign up and blog your experiences at pghfoodchallenge.blogspot.com. A-plus schools need 150 volunteers this fall to interview 100-plus public school teachers in middle and high schools. It's all a part of their ongoing School Works program, mobilizing community volunteers like you to collect information on the inner workings of our schools. As a volunteer, you'll be a part of a two- or three-person team conducting confidential teacher interviews. A-plus will train you during the month of September and you need only volunteer for just two hours or more. No experience is necessary. To learn more, visit their website at aplusschools.org or you can call 412-697-1298. City Theater has announced that Luke McFarlane, star of ABC's hit series Brothers and Sisters, will perform the title role in the world premiere of Keith Bunnan's Sam Bendrix at Bon Soir. Mark Rucker will direct the play, also featuring music by legendary songwriters like Cole Porter, Leonard Bernstein, and the Gershwins. Sam Bendrix at the Bon Soir plays on Seeley Theater's Intimate Hamburg Studio Stage November 12th through December 18th, 2011. The opening night performance is Friday, November 18th at 8 p.m. And I cannot disguise my terror with any more lies. I'm infected, it's been sass, I don't know how long it lasts. What chance if it's enough, I have to cut infection off. Oh, I'll cut it the wrist. I'm afraid there's something I might have missed. It didn't initially start out as an opera uh, in our minds. So it started out as a song, like just one song that I wrote because I'm terrified of zombies and I kind of thought that it would be a good place to start. And I played it for Bonnie and Bonnie said sort of like, sounds like there's more to it. So eventually it just sort of got bigger and bigger and we realized that like there was definitely continuity threads that we could follow mm -hmm. through these songs. Don't lock the door, they all get inside. Don't try to run it when the evening has only begun. I was lucky enough that um, I'm good friends with um, of my friend Arvin Clay. He was more known about a decade ago for being um, one of the top silicone special effects experts in America. And so as soon as I said the word zombie opera, he was totally on board. And Bonnie uh, has her strengths in multimedia, mm -hmm. so we decided to do kind of a hybrid film yeah. element to it. And since it's Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh is so renowned for zombies, we wanted to include Pittsburgh landscapes and and landmarks and people. What I love is we pick up our program and people who see the show see six to nine actors on stage and we have over 190 people in the show. It's just weird and fun and all and a lot of them can go in the audience and say, there's me, I'm crowd member number 605 running through the background. Is that the, the, the funnest thing the funnest for me uh, is to design costumes where people get hurt but you don't, you can't tell that they're going to get hurt. Like you can't tell that they're going to become disemboweled. To solve this problem, I will stop this scourge from devouring the town. 
creatures are the same, only dead except the brain, which instead runs on high capacity. But it seems more fragile than it otherwise would be. Once you're right between the eyes, one attack, and then he dies. Isn't that simple? Isn't it simple? Isn't that easy? And I emailed like a bazillion people. And one of them was New Sun Rising, and they responded, I think, within 24 hours, and said, "This sounds it was almost immediately. great." It was so it was so crazy and and wonderfully awesome, and they were really sweet. Um, the the one of the I think executive directors, Scott, was very helpful, and he worked closely with us, and he got us all the paperwork and. And then he, our liaison Rich oh, we have liaison continues to help Rich with legal, legal matters. matters. He knows a lot about the lawyers and things, and we had a lot of paperwork. <coughs> and look for us this October. This October. At the Kelly Strayhorn Theater. Uh, October 27th through 30th. There we are. 2011. Uh, we're planning so that's a, a Thursday through a Sunday matinee. If you Google zombie opera or even type, uh, we now own thezombieopera.com or zombieopera.com. Or evenings in quarantine. Or, and uh, we're on the Twitters, we are on Facebook, we're on Eventsburg, Boring Pittsburgh, and Kelly um, Strayhorn. Kelly Strayhorn will eventually have a listing by the time, by this, the time is up. this is out. <laughs> In the video spotlight is the Father Ryan Art Center in McKees Rocks. Their online video show, Studio 420, just joined the lineup at Pittsburgh on Video. This episode features the recent New Works Festival. Hello. And welcome to Studio 420 at the beautiful Father Ryan Art Center of Focus on Renewal. I'm James Critchfield, the program director at the Art Center and your host for Studio 420. I invite you to discover all the many opportunities we have waiting for you in theater, music, dance, visual, and creative arts. The Father Ryan Art Center, located in the heart of McKees Rocks, only minutes from Moon Township, is dedicated to the needs of the residents of all of Allegheny County and beyond for their artistic needs in classes, workshops, and performances. The Father Ryan Art Center's mission is to inspire, empower, and enlighten through the arts. And we're able to do that with high quality professional instruction and a state-of-the-art facility. To learn more about our affordable rates and all of our many programs, please join us at our website, www.fatheryanartcenter.org or give us a call at 412-771-3052. And now, enjoy the show. So uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about what's, what's coming up. It's, uh, we have uh, two nights of staged readings, as well as a whole festival coming in September. Uh, Laura, could you share with us a little bit how that works? Sure. Um, the last two Sundays in August, which I believe this year are the 21st and the 28th, mm -hmm. We have, each of those Sundays, there will be three brand new plays done as staged readings. These are free to the public. There's no charge involved. The um, staged readings are anyway. The staged mm -hmm. readings are, are mm -hmm. free to the public. Uh, then once we get into September, starting September 8th this year through October 2nd, we have four weeks of plays. Each week there are different three plays that are going to be fully staged on, on this stage, actually. Um, the unique thing about that is that there are three plays being produced and they all perform in the same evening. So the, the sets have to be fairly simple. It's sort of the magic of theater to go from one to the another in the 15 minute intermission. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty wonderful. Some, some of the companies are very, very, very clever in the way they, they, they come up with full stage uh, uh, sets. So uh, a, a unique, unique experience. And there'll, there'll be four weeks of that. And we've tried over the years, and I don't think we've changed our prices for 
I don't even remember the last time we changed our prices. But our tickets are $10 just to come for one of the evenings and $25 to see all all four weekends. So it's a pretty astounding price. Mm -hmm. You know, if you broke that on into 12 plays because there's 12 over the four weeks, it would be, you know, a little over $2 a play. So it's probably the the, the cheapest theater ticket you're going to find in the city. So ten dollars for for a single evening or twenty five dollars for all four weeks is uh, is a good deal, it's, it's <laughs> a very good deal. So. And, and I think because so many different theater companies are involved, every theater company has its own personality, its own right. type of play that it likes. So you see a really broad spectrum of of work. It's not like seeing three of the same play in an evening. And we do make an attempt to sort of mix right. that up right. so that there's not three. Uh, very heavy dramas. We try to mix it up so there's a drama, a comedy, a dramedy, so that it's not an evening all, all of the same genre. After hours at the library is a unique way to spend a Friday night at the library. Join the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh after work on Friday, September 23rd for snacks, specialty drinks, fun music, live action clue, an exclusive library chair auction, and behind the scenes flashlight tours of Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh Maine in Oakland. Tickets to this unique event can be purchased online or by calling 412-622-6502 and you can go to carnegielibrary.org slash after hours. Speaking of, Pittsburgh's newest quarterly art series presents a congregation of modern ballet, spoken word, cello, hip-hop, and literature this October 1st at the New Hazlitt Theater. The event features texture contemporary ballet writer Alan Olofsson, local hip-hop artist Billy Pilgrim, and writer Taylor Greershober of the New Yinzer, besides spoken word artists Adriana Ramirez and William James, collaborating with classically trained musicians. Tickets are $10 pre-sale, $15 at the door, and are available through the New Hazlitt website, newhazlittheater.org or the Speaking Of website, speakingofpittsburgh.com. Mark your calendars for October 4th, Day of Giving returns at pittsburghgives.org. Over 600 nonprofits are participating and they need your help. Consider donating some of your social media time as well as your dollars this year. Promote your favorite websites and recruit others to make a donation during this 24 hour period. More info at pittsburghgives.org. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. Be sure to tell your friends. You can also check out our classic episodes and our Unsung Uncut series over at pittsburghonvideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. Said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes fucking mad, cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label, but if it's since I'm not.